did you guys see the prom dress controversy? People are furious that this girl wore this dress. Can you see that on Periscope? I'll zoom in a little bit. Cute girl, I don't know, hopefully she's somewhat close to 18 because I just called her a cute girl. She is a prom, uh, she's a prom girl, she picked her prom dress, cute girl, whatever. She posted her prom photo and everybody lost their minds online. In particular, this guy did, this loser. This has been retweeted like 178,000 times and favorited. This Asian guy said, my culture is not in all caps your prom dress. And then somebody else piles in and says, this isn't okay. I wouldn't wear traditional Korean, Japanese, or any other traditional dress and I'm Asian. I wouldn't wear traditional Irish or Swedish or Greek dress either. There's a lot of history behind these clothes. Sad. The war that is going on right now in our culture and I think it's an important war and I think I am certainly one of the combatants in it is the war between people who believe in the, this country as a melting pot that we take the best from everywhere in the world and try to apply it here. We did not invent the idea of democracy. It came from ancient Greece and from ancient Rome. We did not invent coffee. It came from ancient Ethiopian goat herders seems to be the prevailing sentiment. We did invent the internet. We did invent mass media on a global scale. We invented the Hollywood blockbuster. We did not invent salsa. We took Italian food, mixed it with American food, and made pizza. The story of the world is something is created somewhere. Other people in other parts of the world decide that it is good and they bring it to their own culture and it spreads. That's literally the basis of Western and human civilization. Good things spread to larger crowds and that is what leads to success. Imagine that you were applying this logic to antibiotics which were, I believe, invented by white people. Imagine that white people said the only people who can get vaccinations and antibiotics are white people. That would be insanely racist. We created vaccinations and we created antibiotics. If you said stop appropriating my penicillin that would be a ludicrous thing to say, right? If an Ethiopian goat herder showed up in Starbucks and said I can't believe that you are appropriating my caffeine. If Greek people came over here to America to our capital and said I can't believe that you are appropriating our democracy with your system of government. All of those arguments would be patently absurd, right? And they would fly in the face of all intelligent human discourse. Yet that is what people who are arguing cultural appropriation is a thing are arguing. The fact that reasonable people with functional brains and understanding and comprehension do not understand that the best things in the world come from all over the world and that the, the, all of us as a group, the human race, adopt the best additions is a fundamental flaw of what's going on right now in the social media universe. When I saw that that loser idiot who accused the girl of wearing that dress, which by the way, is a beautiful dress, all right? It's a great looking dress whether you're a white person, a black person, an Asian person, or a Hispanic person. People don't own fashion. If they did, then every Asian person would have to continue to wear ridiculous Asian garb wherever they go no matter how old they are and no matter what country they're born in. And every Mexican person would have to walk around in a damn sombrero all day only drinking tequila. That is the foundation of racism. That is the foundation of only allowing yourself to embrace things that people like you have done before. That is the very essence of what America should be standing against. And that is why we have ended up in this weird circle where we can't even tell the difference between racism anymore 
in the modern day era and racism in the 1950s because the NAACP is making the same arguments now that was made by white supremacists in the 1950s. Cultural appropriation is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. The fact that people out there are arguing in favor of cultural appropriation as being a bad thing, every time you see that happen, if you're in college, if you're in high school, if you're at work, instead of keeping your mouth shut and being a, considered afraid of what the results are going to be, you need to fire back and hit these people with explanations. Can you drink coffee then? Should we have democracy in America? Should we in any way, if we are white, allow non-white people to use the internet? Should antibiotics be available to everyone or only to white people since white people created it? The idea that if a culture makes something, everyone else can embrace it if they like it is, in a word, absurd. And it's time for reasonable, normal human beings out there whether you're a Democrat, a Republican, a radical moderate, wherever you are, to take up arms against absurdity and by opposing it, end it. That's what the marketplace of ideas is about. When somebody has a stupid idea and somebody else has a good idea, the good idea needs to win. All too often in our country today, the bad idea is winning because the people who recognize it as a, as a ridiculous idea are afraid to fight it because they're afraid that they'll get in trouble if they believe that cultural appropriation isn't a real thing. The truth of the matter is everybody needs to culturally appropriate. Just like I have culturally appropriated Woke Center and taken it over and started selling t-shirts which you can buy at Outkick.com. Poor girl wearing her dress. Good for her. She looked great in it. Good for her for standing up to all the losers online and owning the fact that she did nothing wrong at all.